rebuild quick enough in the right place where you didn't know whether to go forward or back. He never had a, a ball off, he never, you know, he never looked tired. Not only did Sir Richard carry a team, but he carried a nation. He's like a computer and very good and he can really test the patience of batsmen. He is there all the time. It should be out. Richard Hadley's getting under it to make sure. Not trusting it to anyone else. I don't know how I can describe to you what it's like to feel in the slips. When Richard Hadley had a new eight and a half ounce ball, kookaburra ball with a proud seam in his hand and a greenish wick. So, you knew you were going to get plenty. That's the prize wicket. Short, it's up in the air, wait for this, he's got it, what moves? Gate for seven, Hadley to Garner. He was a marvellous natural hitter of a cricket ball, mainly straight. Whack! You look at glamour roles in sport, you know, it's the striker in football or soccer, you know, it's it's the first five eight in, in rugby because they sort of set up set up the play. It's the same with cricket, the fast bowler sets up play. That first morning of a test match with the genuine fast bowler, highly skilled uh, quick bowler running in from 30 metres on the first morning of the match and the pitch is a bit juicy and the batsman's under a little bit of pressure. That game was set up in that first session. But the records didn't stop there for Hadley. In 1990, in his 80th test, he dismissed Sanjay Mandraker at his home ground in Christchurch to become the first player ever to reach 400 test wickets. Sir Richard Hadley closed out his career in a manner befitting a knight of the realm at Edgbaston. <laughs> yeah, wicket with my last ball uh, in Test cricket. Uh, nice way to, to finish. That final dismissal took Hadley to 431 Test wickets in 86 Test matches, at an average of just over 22. He finished up with a batting average of 27 in a career that ended as he approached 40 years of age.